Goddag og velkommen til Acapulk, og min gæst i dag er en afboende fransk, men, men uh, vi snakker nok på engelsk, for der er ikke mange, der ville forstå os, hvis vi snakker på fransk, og han er ikke så sikkert på dansk. Så det er en sund idé, så laver vi program på engelsk. Velkommen til Rota, til Acapulco. Thank you. Um, Why can't we? Yeah. You are a musician, a composer, a lyricist, and all this around. Um, but what is always interesting me first is, what bring you to Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just about uh, a job, uh, because uh, my daughter lived uh, in Denmark uh, since uh, 2012. Because she, yeah, she 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 studied uh, at uh, Aarhus University, and uh, uh, around two years after she came here in Denmark, she she gave me a call and she told me, Dad, I heard about a job uh, at TC Electronic, which is a, uh, of course as a musician, which is a company that I knew for years, most for from the beginning of the company, which is 1976, and it's a really famous uh, company for in music industry. Uh, they they designed it uh, f from the, you know, the little uh, effect pedals for musicians, guitar player, bass player, from uh, to bass amplifiers until I stuff, I hand stuff uh, for us, uh, studio, recording studios. And uh, they, uh, my my daughter said it's a job for you because it's related with uh, the customers and you like uh, human uh, relation, and it's uh, about helping because it was at a support uh, support service. So I applied and uh, uh, yeah, things went really well and I I was uh, hired uh, back in uh, July uh, 2014. So. Next July it will be five years. Five years, so you are still fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In ours. Yeah. And uh, I, I worked um, with. We worked on the support service with all the, the customers of all countries in the world. So that's why I did. I don't need Danish, and uh, I'm a bad, bad <laughs> guy <laughs> because I, I, I never, I, I never really need it, because yeah, all Danish people are really. Fluent speak, English, English speaking, yeah. so that's sometimes a problem how to learn Danish because mostly of them speak English and then it's yeah. <laughs> difficult to develop. Yeah, yeah that's but that's nice that you are kind of exception like me, <laughs> not because you came to Denmark because of a Danish woman. That's the most, uh, yeah. but uh, because of a job, me too, was not a Danish woman who bring me here, but was because I get a job at a theater in uh, close to Copenhagen. So, so okay. <laughs> that's. Yeah. Life. We have some exceptions. Okay, yeah. welcome in the club. <laughs> exceptions. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> but your daughter is still living in Aarhus now. Or yes. Is, yes. Yeah. 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 So all family. My my daughter moved uh, laterly uh, to an, uh, a little island because she yeah she ended ended up the studies in Aarhus. Uh, so she moved in Fayo, little little island. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I went there uh, and it's wow, really small but really wonderful. But I love Aarhus because it's not that, that big than, for instance, uh, Copenhagen, which is more stressful, uh, yeah. in my opinion. And uh, it's it's nice. You you can see people uh, in the streets. They are really relaxed and uh, smiling. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, well, let's see that Aarhus doesn't get too big, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we have to move, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the countryside. Yes, yes. But uh, now back to mu music and so on. So when. Mm. When do you are interested and how do you start playing music? Uh, it's a long story because music was still part of my life as far as I remember as I was really a, a baby and uh, my first uh, words. So you, you were born singing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's, yeah, my, my first, the first words I, I, I learned was not Papa, Maman. <laughs> That was um, la la music, or and it's, <laughs> it was still yeah like uh, yeah like evidence for me, 
And uh, I really started to play guitar when I was something like 15 years old. And uh, a few years later, I started to play in, uh, in a band, in, not that far from, uh, from, from, uh, from our home. And that's, that's how all began uh, with uh, yeah, gigs. Uh, first uh, around Lille, because I was born in Lille, north of France. Oh, you are north of Lille, yeah. Okay, yeah. Next to Belgium. And first it was around Lille, and then in the old north, and then in the, the, around north. And um, yeah, the, if we we want to speak about music first, it was uh, the, the 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 music uh, was kind of rock progressive because we were really fan of uh, some groups like uh, Yes or Genesis, and uh, during the eighties was still uh, really uh, uh, this kind of music really popular. And then we, but we 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 listen uh, to uh, as well some some bands like uh, uh, Return to Forever, or With a Report. Uh, um, One of Marge. my favorite bands. Okay. With a Report. Oh yeah, it's and uh, Return to Forever, Marvish New Orchestra. But yeah. at that time we didn't have uh, the 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 skills to play this uh, kind of music because it's based on jazz and it's tough <laughs> to play. So little by little. We we went there, and of course, I, we we changed uh, musicians. Some of them uh, went uh, out, some came and, and go and went. And um, in the during the eighties, uh, I fell in love with um, uh, 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 German uh, label, which is uh, ECM. And uh, it's um, r r r uh, the sound and uh, the, the, the kind of music is really peaceful. And I love many, many uh, musicians that work for this label as, uh, for instance, uh, Egberto Gismonti, which mm -hmm. is a Brazilian mm -hmm. guitar player. I know him personally. He has been in Oros. Okay. Some days ago. Yeah. Uh, incredible. It's one of my favorite musicians, a guitar player and a piano player. Wow. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Or Ralph Turner, which is uh, American, uh, Jan Garbarek, the yeah, uh, saxophone player from uh, Norway, and it's uh, yeah, a special kind of music, really nice. And uh, for instance, one of my favorite uh, piano player is uh, John Taylor, which is mm -hmm. an English guy. I met him uh, a few day, a few years ago. Unfortunately, he, uh, he passed away uh, two or three years ago. I was really, really sad, but. Uh, it's really nice, and this was uh, one of my biggest uh, musical shock. Uh, and then um, during the 90s, um, I had um, the opportunity to play with um, rock bands, and um, uh, I discovered or rediscovered uh, some bands I, I, I listened to, I used to listen uh, when I was a teenager. And with, uh, f for instance, uh, Bruce Springsteen, Bob Seger, uh, r American rock. Yep. It was really nice. We, we, we did uh, uh, a, a CD in uh, 1994. And um, at that time, uh, I start to I, I compose all from the beginning. From, uh, but uh, at the end of the 90s, I start to write lyrics in French. And uh, because um, I'm a big fan of uh, French singers as uh, Claude Nougaro, which he mixed uh, jazz music with French words, but in a really nice way, musical way. I'm a really big fan of Claude Nougaro. And uh, another one, which is, is, is uh, Michel Fugain as well. He, took some bossa nova samba and put it in pop French music. It's really nice. And I met, I met, I, I met uh, him as well. And then uh, early 2000s, um, I start to meet some of, uh, especially, uh, yeah, mainly French singers to try to, uh, yeah, they, uh, the, the famous singers, uh, Bring uh, brought uh, my my music and my my songs, so I met uh, 
many many uh, singers. The most uh, was uh, I was really fan like uh, Moran, for instance, uh, wonderful voice. Uh, Yann Folly. I met uh, Natasha Saint Pierre, which is a French French singer, but from uh, New Brunswick, and many many. Uh, and I met uh, producer, uh, uh, p uh, editors, publishing in Quebec. Uh, so yeah, the so things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's why I believe in destiny because maybe it doesn't function for everybody. But you said from baby you come with music and has been there always. Yeah. Is like his a destination yeah. and so on and yeah, so on. It's, you know? yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting. But uh, you have never been or do you have had a, a music education in conservatorium or something? No, no, no. So it's I, just I, autodidact. Yeah, yeah. Music, yeah. yeah? I, I just. Um, <clears throat> Uh, followed uh, one year um, uh, a school uh, when I was 30 years old, <clears throat> um, where I yeah I learned uh, uh, music uh, reading and um, and from the, it was in '91, and from from this um, I became a professional after the, this one year school. Yeah, yeah. And I, of course, I, uh, I start to uh, teach uh, guitar and uh, r r work in different uh, music schools. I also read <laughs> in your uh, homepage that uh, you once had a, a band called Taurus. Yes. And you know, it's very funny because when I read that, I said, oh, Stefan Brandt from Aarhus, he also okay. had a band called Taurus or something okay. yeah, it's similar. Okay. <laughs> it was very, I said, oh, it's very interesting. You yeah, know? yeah, it <laughs> very yeah interesting. it's a common name, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <clears throat> for us, it was, uh, I don't know why, but it was the, the, the mountains in Turkey. Yeah, the mountains in Turkey. Tur yeah. Tur okay. Taurus, yeah, yeah. 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 One, one mountain, uh, maybe the biggest, uh, the highest uh, uh, from Turkey. But, but uh, now back to the present, back to Aarhus. Back <laughs> from France, <laughs> so I was for you because um, <clears throat> you are not in France, so no. the things around are different, cultures different, and so on. How do that influence uh, your music? Um, about the composition, or <clears throat> no? Your music in general, because you compose, you make lyrics, and so on. Yeah. So there's no influence. You, no, no, no. I, you I, just, yeah, I'm French, go away, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, but, uh, no, no, but uh, it's uh, more um, uh, into, into me. Uh, I developed still. Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> to, to become uh, better and better. I try to, yeah, sometimes. Uh, Something oh this uh, kind of arrangement or <coughs> or this kind of music I never really composed this kind of music so I uh, I forced myself if, uh, <coughs> to compose it or work in different way yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, it's 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 really <coughs> yeah, for uh, uh, composing because sometimes uh, it starts from uh, the lyrics before the music, sometimes it's the opposite. Yep. <laughs> the, uh, first, uh, and even in the music, uh, sometimes it's a, yeah, a chord line, some, some harmony that inspire me a, a melody, or sometimes it's first the melody, and then I try to yep. put some yep. chords on it. <clears throat> sometimes it's on the guitar, sometimes it's on the piano. Yeah, no, yeah I use also the piano. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a piano player. No, 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 but, but uh, just to compose, yeah. yeah it's, uh, because sometimes it's it's really good because if you are not inspired on the guitar, <coughs> take the piano. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> and the inspiration is coming. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. It's, it's it's funny, and I love this uh, instru instrument. I love any instrument. But you only play guitar and piano. yeah. In the in the past, I I I, I tried myself to play a, a bit of bass on stage as well, <laughs> um, drums. Uh, uh, I played for a few years uh, saxophone, mm. uh, trumpet as well. well <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know different uh, to to see uh, uh, how it goes. Uh, well, yeah. that's one of the things I I really not happy about my life is I never learned to play an instrument. 
when I was a little boy okay. in my village in Portugal, then I built a wooden okay. um, box and I put metals on these and okay. I start playing like uh, drums <laughs> wow. and everybody get mad about me so they forbidden <laughs> me to play and then since that I, I never played oh. you know it was really a pity but I was so <laughs> ah you know like, so so they, they destroy maybe a drum or whatever I don't know <laughs> what is it but that's one of the things I regret I didn't learn to play an instrument but but I'm very happy that uh, my nieces are all play an instrument and singing and so on. Okay. And uh, my new yes also is okay. l also playing piano and all these things. Wow. My, my grandfather was a play all instruments was a composer also. So okay. you see, but I have nothing from that. So I'm totally okay. different area. But uh, well, that's the sanity, you know. <laughs> yeah. the sanity. Yeah, <laughs> it exactly. should not be that yeah. I should be mu musician, you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah. For a long but, time, I understood that uh, nothing happens by chance. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But you also, I saw also that you compose a lot of things for, <laughs> or you work with some French singers, some yeah. country singers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. currently uh, I, I, I got a, for a few months uh, only a, a collaboration with a French uh, country singer, which is not that <laughs> useful. <laughs> it's more yeah, famous, uh, of course, in the USA or in Canada, in Quebec, especially, yeah. or New Brunswick. They are. Uh, yeah, they are crazy for uh, country music. And uh, it's pretty new for me and uh, it's really nice. Uh, she got a really nice voice and uh, yeah, we, we tried to find a way to work together. She had some uh, plans and some projects. So let's see what, and, uh, what will happen. But uh, it's uh, a motivation for me. because It's yeah. the most difficult <coughs> to compose, but uh, with no goal it's uh, and uh, this is uh, yeah is really nice because it's uh, it's it's yeah it's a motivation to you know oh, this song is really nice I will I will uh, send it to to this singer and to see what uh, if she she like uh, she likes the song if she can eventually sing it and uh, yeah, and maybe we will uh, work together for lyrics or. or so it's nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so you think you are <coughs> satisfied with this combination? You have a normal job and then uh, you make music. Yes. Because some people just give everything up and just focus on music. But yeah, yeah, I did it uh, for the last 20 years. Uh, I lived in France. I did it. Uh, yeah. uh, at some point, you, if <coughs> yeah, the 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 the, the jo musician job take so much time that you cannot focus as uh, as much as you want so you ha I, uh, it was uh, in 91 i had to make a choice <coughs> yeah because uh, yeah the, and uh, i'm really happy to that the things went well for the music because yeah it's kind of a jump in the <laughs> don't know where really uh, but uh, yeah yeah and uh, it was a really nice choice i think uh, I worked previously for 10 years in the French National Railways, but <clears throat> I felt like I was not uh, at the right place. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. sometimes you, you have to be patient, waiting for the right moment, uh, yeah. you know, and, and the opportunities. And when, when it's... They come, you should take yeah, it. Uh, yeah. you, you, anyway, you can feel it. Now yeah, it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... but um, Anyway, you are still composing, making music, uh, and so yeah. on. So that is the important thing. But uh, sure. do you have dreams about uh, you want to make these or that? I don't oh. know. Some people want to make a musical or whatever. I don't, I'm just you know. So do you have any dreams? About oh yes, what, a lot. <laughs> yeah, tell us. In, tell the, us. in the musical uh, area and uh, extra musical area as well. Yeah, my, <clears throat> my dreams is uh, still the, the, the same because I, at that time I didn't reach it. Uh, I would like to, to succeed to put some songs to famous singers because uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope that day when I was in a venue and I can hear my songs singing by a famous, wow. Uh, and uh, this is one of my yeah, biggest uh, dream 
uh, and uh, <clears throat> the other one uh, uh, to live again from only from my music, maybe not teaching because uh, yeah, I think uh, it's something. It's really ni it was really nice, but for more than twenty years, now uh, I'm waiting for something else different than guitar teaching. So and play, of course, the, another dream, which is related with uh, 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 titles uh, or big hits. So it's uh, uh, going on tour uh, with uh, yeah. all around. I don't know the Europe or I don't know, really nice. Uh, I realize in uh, near page that was one song where you sing uh, in French and Italian. Yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, How does it come? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was back in 2005. And, yeah, <clears throat> I, I started to work with a lyricist. And uh, she got the idea to mix uh, French, Italian and uh, English. And it was really nice. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we start to get in touch with us. Uh, some bands and some uh, singers in the, this in this kind of uh, style. It's a, a pop opera, and we sent a uh, few uh, few songs um, to uh, Josh Groban, for instance, uh, Il Divo, the four uh, wonderful singers. Uh, another one uh, uh, was Giorgia Fumanti, which is still it's Italian, uh, amazing voice. This uh, singer. And so we, together with this lyricist, uh, we, we worked on a few songs, maybe six or seven songs in this, the same style of pop opera, which, which was new for me, but was, uh, yeah, like, uh, like uh, um, you know, it's something new, so it's interesting because it's something that you, you can learn about it and uh, be more universal. <laughs> it's a challenge. It's challenging, uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, uh. and it's uh, something I'm really excited about. That's quite interesting because, in fact, you are half Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it find is. out. But even if you don't really speak Italian because you were born in France, that's yeah. the sink of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah circumstances. True. We are belong somewhere, somewhere mixed. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not anymore. No. But here to the end, I mean, uh, we are going to listen to one song from you. What is, what is the name of the song? Uh, in French, it's Besoin d'amour. This need of love, in English. All, yeah. we, all need love. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. much better for in French. Okay, yeah. Tout on a besoin d'amour. C'est très romantique. <laughs> it is. <laughs> très yeah, romantique. Yeah. And uh, the text, uh, I wrote this one, um, <clears throat> wrote the lyrics, uh, speaks about, yeah, that we are all the same. <clears throat> we have, we got all, everyone got a heart and the same, uh, the same need of love and uh, give in love and receive love. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the, one of the most wonderful thing in the world, I think. Yeah. So but I, uh, I say thank you very much that you come. Uh, and then uh, we go now to hear to your song. Thank you uh, very much. Thank you, Rui.
seul secours Notre ultime recours On a tout Ce besoin d'amour, ce besoin d'amour. 